What is up, everybody? Circle Flex here, bringing you day nine of the Advent Calendar. Let's take a quick look here. So today is the ISU 122S. It is part of the Berlin Trio or Quartet because well, there were I think four things, right? It was like Chromo B, IS, and uh, Chromo B, IS, Rudy, and this one. But there was some weird shit where, like, in the, when they first sold them, they only sold free to EU and free to Russia. And then they didn't sell the Cromwell B in Russia and they didn't sell this thing in EU. And um, they only come bundled. I don't think they've ever come separately. Uh, I think they've always come bundled. And this time is no different. I did not see them um, on any of the other uh, websites to be, like, different. So they're all the same package as well, as far as I can tell. So there's a slight price difference because of conversion rates, I guess, uh, $35, $35 or 30 euros. Um, so the package includes uh, a train crew, and I am fairly certain this is the special crew that these tanks always get, and this is like no exception. Um, and you can kind of see that in Asia, they have zero skill special Brothers Arts crew. So, I don't know why they have that voice, but hey, there you go. So, um... Uh, uh, the thing about these crew members is, is that they have Brothers at Arms already trained on all the crew members. And now you're like, well, why would you want the Brothers at Arms crew right away? Why would you pay extra? Because this crew skill doesn't count as a crew skill. Now, I know that sounds weird, but what I mean to say is that the first skill you're going to train is after Brothers at Arms counts as the first crew skill. So you're going to have to train like 6 cents and stuff, obviously, and that's going to be just as easy or just as much as XP as you would need to train a crew uh, from 0 to 100 on the first crew skill after they reach 100%. So if you buy a gold crew normally, you have 100% crew, 0% uh, crew skill. These ones come with Brothers in Arms and it's basically for free, which is really nice. And that's really the only way you would ever want to buy a crew from a store like this is if the crew is like that. So the Crumble B, the IS-2, and the Rudy all have the same thing where they come with the Brothers and Arms crew. That's really nice because that means you can get Brothers and Arms and you can get all the other crew skills going real fast as well. Because then, you know, the, f the six cents and the repairs and everything is going to be slightly easier to get because you already have Brothers and Arms, which is always nice to have on any tank ever. You know, it's always nice to have Brothers and Arms. Uh, so they only come in the bundle, which is obviously a bit of a shame. I mean, they could sell it without the gold. Uh, let's be real here. Uh, and there's well, really no discount here. The only special offer is that it's a rare tank. And how rare is it? I think it's for sale like four times a year or something like that. Um, and it's the same bundle everywhere with this with the special crew. Um, now, the direct competition of this tank is obviously the SU-122-44, uh, which I checked out here and if you scroll past it just in this sense you see a lot of red you know there's a lot of things that say that the SU-122-44 is worse however in actual like gameplay wise personally for me the SU-122-44 is four times more enjoyable <laughs> like way more enjoyable than the ISU-122-S and yes, it has monsters DPM. It has 3300 base DPM. This is without any any upgrades. This is without Brother Arms. This is without a gun uh, gun laying drive. All of that shit. Uh, the SU-12244 has 3000, which is still like absurd to boot a tier 7, okay? It's been in the game forever as well. Now there's a couple of downs there's a couple of downsides um, on the SU ISU 122S that make me not want to play it over the, uh, the SU-122-44. Um, the first thing is, is that it's slower, with uh, way worse power to weight, and way worse terrain resistances. This means that the ISU is pretty damn fucking slow. And the tank the first is 27, which is probably average around tier 7 for TD, but the SU has 42. If you don't track an SU, there's almost nothing that can out-traverse it, which will happen a lot to people if they go for tanks, TDs, no turrets. They try and get around it, so you don't have the gun pointing towards you. The SU is really hard to do that with. 
Um, so the movement is so much better on the SU. It's kind of crazy. Now the weapon handling on both is pretty mediocre. Like the accuracy is not that great, but it's Russian, so like it doesn't give a fuck, right? Uh, the dispersion everything is worse on the SU. Granted, not that much worse. Uh, Turret first is worse. I don't know how that works. Um, and the elevation and the gun depression is worse as well. So you have four, which is not that great, but you're low to the ground. You worry, you have six and I SU. So. Uh, and then the hull is 90 and versus 90 frontal. Like the sides and rear don't really matter. Let's be real here. The side of 90 sounds nice, and it is nice. Um, but you have to realize that the SU-122S is an ISU, so it is like pretty pretty stocky. Yeah, it's you know it's sloped and everything. It has a, you know it has some armor, nothing great. And then the sides here get really good because that's uh, obviously like it's a little bit of slope there as well. But the sides and stuff like it's bulky as fuck. It's really it's a big tank as well. And now if we compare this to um, the SU, so if you go to here a 7TD, and we go to the SU, and you'll see the 3D model for those who still haven't seen it, it is ridiculous! 160, easy, 150, this is really good against tier 5 and 6s, and a lot of tier 7s still. You will, you will bounce a lot, especially if you in between shots, you kind of pull this move, you like you slightly angle. Like look at this shit, 270, like it's, it, it's get crazy. And with 42 um, tank traverse, that you can, you can like you outmaneuver tank so hard. And both tanks don't have a lot of health being TDs at tier seven, <clears throat> but the SU, even with, you know, slightly less DPM, but let's be real, 3000 is crazy good. Uh, I think the SU is a better tank to buy. Um, yeah, you will miss out on the on the like the funky crew uh, with the you know this, the brothers at arms built in there. But really, anything else is just meh. And if we take a look at the uh, Virtual tanks, it's also one of the tanks you can still buy in the tech tree, if I'm not mistaken here. So you can still buy this in the tech tree, and it's sixty seven hundred and fifty gold. But being a tier 7, it's going to be 30% off at some point. Like, I, I keep saying this, so it better fucking happen. Otherwise, I'm going to disappoint a lot of people. I have no inside knowledge, but every Christmas ever, there's been premiums on sale. And right now, it's a tier 5s and below or 50% off. Um, and the tier 8s are usually 15% off. And the tier 6 and 7s are 30. So, you know, take 30% off that price. And then you get a pretty affordable tier 7 TD uh, you know, tank training, and I think that's still a better, uh, you know, a better thing to buy, buying an SU-122-44 on the discount, and having a little bit more of a fun tank, the only real reason why I could recommend the ISU, is if you really want the crew, which is a bit weird, because you could also just buy a Rudy, and convert the crew, if you really want to, it costs more gold, I guess, uh, or if you're really one of those people that can sit still forever, because both the, the gun handling is, is bad on both, but the ISU doesn't have the maneuverability to actually sway a flank and stuff like that. The ISU is far more defensive, where the ISU is far more aggressive. Uh, so keep that in mind if you want to buy these tanks. Um, that's kind of the, that's kind of what I can give you. Like the ISU, like as far as the 70 TDs goes, it's, it's not horrible. I just think the SU-122-44 is uh, a lot better. But it might also because I play a lot more aggressive than. Um, some people do in their TDs. Uh, the other thing that's worthy of noting for the last part is that the SU is kind of blind as a bat. And the ISU is slightly less blind as a bat and it's 20 more for you inch, which is pretty significant at that tier. If you're top tier. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. The other thing I noticed today is that the um, Panzer 58 Black Edition came up. And you're thinking like, what the fuck is a Panzer? What the fuck is a Panzer? It's just the moots. <laughs> It's a Moots uh, that's black, just like the i6 and the uh, T34. Um, now, it's for sale in all kinds of bundles. You can buy the two of the same tanks at 23% off and stuff like that. However, if you already own the Moots, uh, which I do because, well, it's a pretty good tank. looks cool. Uh, just like all the other tanks, it's, um, it's a pretty significant discount. That's kind of like the whole shtick with the Black uh, Friday tanks now, is that they are pretty much half off, minus the garage slot, I think. 
Uh, so it's 17 euros for me to buy. And then, yeah, I'll have the same tank again. But it does look cool. And now the f obvious next question is, do you recommend buying a Moots? Uh, yeah. I kind of do. If you, want a fr if you want a German medium crew trainer and make some money on the side, I think it's a better purchase than the other tier 8 medium, which is the Panther 88. Now, again, if you look at the, th the stats here, it's a lot, a lot of green and some red here. Like, the movement is worse. The weapon handling is... Um, well, you could say worse, but it's actually kind of better on the Panther 88. And the DPM is, uh, you know, 200 higher on the Panther 88. However, and a few ranges, 10 less. And the turret armor all looks the same. But the armor on the Moose is just simply better. It's better sloped. You get some more surprise bounces going on. You have 10 degrees of gun depression compared to 7. Um, you know, the Panther 88 is like stocky and blocky like most German tanks are in this game. Whereas the Moots is a bit more sleeker, you can get some surprise bounces on the front here. You know, the turret is slightly smaller, there's more gunmen lit to cover your turret if you peek out. And the 10 degrees of gun depression helps a lot there. So I would recommend if you want to buy, if you have the money available, if you really want to buy a medium German crew trainer and make some money on the side of tier 8, then the Moots is definitely a lot better than the 88. And it's relatively, you know, relatively good compared to to most tier 8 premiums, I'd say. <clears throat> so I'll probably pick up the black one as well, because, well, it just looks cool. I'm a sucker. I don't know. I guess, I think I'll just buy it. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I'll, I'll probably buy this one. Fuck it. Um, so, yeah, that's the other thing that's went on sale. Uh, so if it should probably be on sale on the other servers as well. If not today, then sometime soon. Uh, so keep an eye out on that as well. It's available for, like, six days. Um... And if you already have a Moots, I mean, I don't think the average Joe should buy it. I mostly buy it because, well, people in the stream will want to see it and stuff like that. This is the biggest reason why I have all the, almost, pretty much all the premium tanks is to just show it off to the stream and, um, you know, keep you guys informed what is a good purchase and what isn't. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little review of the, the Moots and uh, the calendar day. We're here at day nine. We'll be back tomorrow with day 10. Thanks a lot for tuning in as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to, uh, you know, subscribe. Maybe check out more videos. Uh, I probably have some ISU recordings or maybe Moots recordings. And I'll put them up here as well. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Peace out. Bye-bye.